Losing a loved one to suicide can be an incredibly painful and complex experience. Here are five tips from a grieving mom to help navigate the healing process. Allow yourself to grieve. Give yourself permission to feel the range of emotions that come with grief, including sadness, anger, guilt, and confusion. It's normal to experience a mix of feelings, and suppressing them can prolong the healing process. Seek support. Surround yourself with understanding and compassionate individuals who can offer support. This might include family members, friends, support groups, or a therapist trained in grief counseling. Sharing your thoughts and feelings with others who have experienced similar losses can be incredibly comforting. Take care of yourself. Amidst the grief, it's important to prioritize self-care. This can include getting enough rest, eating well, exercising, and engaging in activities that bring you comfort and peace. Taking care of your physical and emotional well-being can help you navigate the grieving process more effectively. Honoring your loved one's memory. Find meaningful ways to honor the memory of your loved one. This might involve creating a memorial, participating in suicide prevention activities, or simply sharing stories and memories with others. Finding ways to keep their memory alive can provide a sense of connection and comfort. Be patient with yourself. Healing after the suicide of a loved one is a long and nonlinear process. There will be good days and bad days, and it's important to be patient and gentle with yourself as you navigate through them. Allow yourself the time and space you need to heal, and remember that healing is a journey, not a destination. Above all, remember that you are not alone in your grief. Reach out for support when you need it, and know that there is hope for healing and finding peace, even in the midst of profound loss.